is the color of my true love's hair. His lips are like a rose so fair. He has the sweetest smile and the gentlest hands. And I love the grass. And that was Catherine Jenkins singing Black is the Colour from her brand new album, her eighth studio album to date, called Daydream. 500339 is the item number on that one if you'd like to order it. It is an incredible album and I'm really looking forward to having a chat to Catherine about it. She's just made her way across to me here. She's joining me to tell me all about it. Catherine, it's lovely to have you here. Oh, thanks for having me. What, QVC, is this your first time at QVC? This is my first time at well, QVC. I'm very excited. I hope everyone's treating you very nicely. They are. <laughs> now, the brand new album is called Daydream and it's been kind of talked about as your most personal album to date why is that well in in sort of the you know the idea of the songs you know your daydreams are your most personal and intimate thoughts that you hardly ever tell anyone about and so mm. a lot of the songs are about love or you know dreaming of another life and my last album was quite big and theatrical and dramatic and I wanted this to be you know still with orchestra but um, it's more about sort of getting the emotion across and I want it to be like I was just singing it to you as if I was in the room with you. Oh, and it does <laughs> feel like that and you were saying actually the last one was quite big and orchestral now this one is orchestral but it's much more intimate was that difficult to achieve? Um, I think when you sort of set out you know it's something I learned from the last album I made with David Foster you know he was always encouraging me to try and find that really emotional voice as well not just the big operatic voice but using a different kind of voice mm. and I feel like I've learned that from working with him so it was about trying to use all the different parts of my voice to just tell a story. Well in doing that you've chosen lots of different types of musical genres you've got you've got some hymns in there you've yeah. got classical you've got soft pop you've got uh, kind of West End musicals everything's yeah. there do you have a particular preference? Well I think my my background is always in the classical because that's how we you know where I learned to study but um, I think 
you know, you've got things like the hymns where I learned to sing in church. Mm. So then the folk songs, you know, because I grew up in Wales and yeah. I loved musical theatre before I found classical music. So really, you know, my albums have always been a mix of all these different kinds of music because that's really who I am. And you were talking uh, just a moment ago about working with David Foster on your previous album. With this one, you produced it in both LA and London, and you're working in LA with Grammy Award winning producer uh, John Shanks. And then in London, you had Simon Franklin, who produced, was it Sacred Arias in 2008? Yes, yeah, we've done a few albums actually, yeah, Simon is and it, I. Is it really important to you who you work with? Well, I think when you're, you know, when you're choosing a producer, it has to be somebody that you know, you know, you know, and you trust and you want to work with. And both producers I've worked with before, um, but I think you know, Simon, I did the more classical, the more the hymns and the folk songs with him, and then went out to LA to work with John. And John's done some of the Take That, you know, songs. And he's Westlife a huge, as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, you know, he's a big pop he producer. He did your big hit last year. Uh, Tell um, me, I'm not dreaming. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was fun because while I was out in LA, you know, I went out to work with him, and in the same week, I was out there singing on the uh, American version of Strictly Come Dancing. Oh, so wow. that was such a fun week. What was that like? Well, it looks exactly the same. Um, you know, it's kind of funny because I've sung on the UK one and then I, I was there and it looks the same and you've still got Len and Bruno. Um, but it was just, they decided to do a classical week, which right. I don't think they've done here before. So all the dancers were two pieces of opera. Um, and, and so I was singing whilst they were performing and it was amazing, you know, really fun to be part of. Brilliant. Well, listen, I want to talk about the album because, as we said, lots of different musical genres in there. So I'm just going to talk through some of the, the tracks with yeah. you, if you don't mind. We just heard you singing Black is the Colour, obviously, which is a real kind of Celtic folk song. Yeah. What, what made you choose that one? Well, um, a friend of mine um, was telling me about an Irish singer called Christy Moore. Oh, Christy Moore. Yeah. Yes, you know well. <laughs> and so I decided to look into some of his songs and I found this. I think originally it's either a Scottish folk song or an American folk song because it's kind of argued. But um, I just fell in love with it. I thought it was such a... A romantic song so we tried to do something with it you know try and make it quite celticy quite mm. sort of almost something like out of brave heart you know on the album it's quite big and that's, you, there is yeah. something of the yeah. brave heart about it <laughs> yes um it's incredible actually that's exactly what it's like you also sing um i dreamed a dream in french which yes. is the original score it's not usually recorded that often like no that. i mean i love i dreamed a dream it was one of the songs that i performed when i got my big record contract i'd sung all the classical pieces and then the the record company bosses said to me at the end well do you know any musical theatre? And I got put on the spot and I said to the pianist, do you know I Dreamed a Dream? And I ended up singing that and apparently that's what clinched me my record deal. Um, but I didn't just want to do it again in the English because yeah. it's been done so many times. Yeah, yeah. So I looked into it and it's you know, set in France, written by French composers. So obviously it was written in French first, but it's hardly ever done. So that's why I decided to do it in the French for once. And also you did, uh, again, being an Irishman, you did Carrick Fergus, which yes. I absolutely adore, being from Northern Ireland originally. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, but you were, uh, it's been said that you picked songs that inspired you or were part of you or your kind of your career path so where does Carrick Fergus figure in that one it's a song that I've known for ages right. and I've loved and it's always just been one of those melodies that I think I'm probably you know again the Celtic connection I think I'm, I'm drawn to that it's you know it's again a beautiful love song um, but it just didn't seem to fit into any of the other albums and then on this one I think because the songs are more intimate and quite dreamy this one fitted in perfectly well, one that I, I particularly like that you sang at the proms, actually, and I'll have a chat with you about the proms in a second, but you sang in This Is My Beloved, which is yeah. sang to the, the tune of, is it Baroden Symphony Number no. 2? It's a yes. beautiful, I, I love that piece of music, yeah. and that's a gorgeous song. Thank you. It, it's, you know, it's beautiful. It's, it's thought of as classical because it does come, you know, it's, yeah. it's an instrumental piece of music. Yeah. But then words were added, and, you know, it's, it's featured in, um, in Kismet. Kismet, that's right. Yeah, in the musical. So, again, this is a song that I remember hearing... You know, when I was, I think, a choir girl, I remember hearing somebody sing this and thinking, I want to sing that one day, and this is the album that, that made it happen. I want to look now also, uh, just because I know we're tight for time, A Flower Tells a Story, which is very much a tribute to servicemen and women right through the ages. And yeah. I think that's something that's very close to your heart, isn't it? Oh, it's a huge passion of mine. You know, I'm, I'm always wanting to go and support our men and women, you know, abroad, and, you know, wherever they are, um, hoping to be going out to Afghanistan again this year. Wow. Um, but it's, you know, it's, it's a passion of mine I'm a trustee of the British Forces Foundation so it's always nice to find a song that you can dedicate to these wonderful men and women. You were in Iraq was it in 2006? Yeah 2005 and 2006. And 2006. And I'm right in saying the first time you were out there, there were missiles targeted at your helicopter when you were there. Yeah well was that <laughs> of course oh um, but it's you know it's one of those things you're, you're flying by helicopter and it was a ground to air missile that was fired at us and I honestly thought my you know that's it that's that's the end of it for me but they landed a safe and you go on to the next 
next base, next show. And it hasn't stopped me because I've been doing it for quite a few years since. So, mm. um, in fact, I think the more dangerous they tell me it is, the more it makes me want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell my mum that, though. Well, good for you. Good, yeah, no, don't say a word. No. Uh, finally, also, you, you sing in Welsh in this album as well. Uh, it, please excuse my Welsh pronunciation. Is it Blen Wern? Blen, yes, Blen good. Wern? Yeah. Uh, which is also the tune, I think, for um, Love Divine, is it? Yes. Which is also on this album. Yes. Uh, is that something that's important to you, is having some Welsh? I think 2006 um, was the last time you recorded in Welsh. Well, yeah, I haven't recorded in Welsh for a while. And it is something that I just think, you know, there are so many beautiful hymns and you know it's nice to use the welsh language you know just in in a in one one track just to you know show show a bit of support for wales because they've been amazing in sort of you know i feel like they've really supported me well, very quickly but i've got one more quick question and we are running out of time abigail's song which is yeah. from doctor who incredible murray gold it's a beautiful song I mean, you, you were in that episode of A Christmas yeah. Carol at Christmas. How was that? Very quickly. Oh, amazing. You know, just to be part of Doctor Who is such an iconic show. I hope to show it to my grandchildren one day. <laughs> and I thought, you know, everyone's asking me about the song. So I thought, well, why not put it on as a bonus track? Because they can get it that way. It's an incredible track. I'm so pleased you did. <laughs> Listen, we've run out of time, but I'd like to ask you, would you sing one more song for us? Absolutely, yeah. Brilliant. Well, if you want to make your way over, this is Catherine Jenkins. She's singing one more song from us from her debut, uh, sorry, from her eighth studio album, rather, Daydream. She She's going to be singing uh, Break It To My Heart. This is Catherine Jenkins. If it's okay, then leave the bed let on And place your water glass where it belongs And if it's all right, I lie awake at night Pretending I am curled up at your side See, I'm circling in these patterns, living out of memories. I'm still a long way from accepting it, that there's just no you and me. But if I still believe you love me, maybe I'll survive. So I tell myself you're coming home, like you've done a million times, and if it's all right. I'll still be loving you Cause I can break it to my heart Is it just me? Did I commit a crime? I won't believe that loving you Is just a waste of time Or was it in my head? I'm reading it Cause I still don't have the answers To where we couldn't work it out I wanna think it's something that I did So I can turn it back around But if I still believe you love me Maybe I'll survive So I tell myself you're coming home Like you've done a million times And if it's alright I'll still be I can break it to my heart I want to convince myself We're perfect in every single way As long as I can keep the truth away I can turn it back around But if I still believe you love me Maybe I'll survive So I tell myself you're coming home Like you've done a million times And if it's alright I'll still be loving you And if it's alright